So there's a injury epidemic all through baseball that's being talked about to the elbow. Dr. Glenn Fleissig of American Sports Medicine Institute just published this study, which you may have seen on my Twitter or out there. It's called Risk Factors uh, for an Ulnar Collateral Ligament Injury Resulting in Surgery. And the key finding was that those injured players, again, had about 100 newton meters of torque while less non-injured, and the healthy pitchers were lower than that. So it's not just purely velocity, right? It's the this invisible force, this elbow varus torque. And, and what is that? That's basically the force when the arm is laying backwards and it's stressing the ulnar collateral ligament. Inside your elbow are soft tissue that literally hold the bones together. Uh, there's no real way to strengthen that ligament directly. One thing that's clear from the paper is that if you're not measuring it, you can't really do anything. So high fidelity, great stuff like a motion capture laboratory, like the Driveline Launchpad, American Sports Medicine Institute, uh, many different places have motion capture labs. Most Major League Baseball teams have their own. If they don't, they're using Hawkeye and Kenetrax. Um, so you need to be able to get that baseline. But that doesn't help the 12-year-old, the 16-year-old, the draft kid that's coming out, the junior college player that, that may not have access to that technology. Or they can only do it once a year when they train a driveline. Yeah, it's no problem. Still do that high fidelity, that great resource. But then you have wearables like Driveline Pulse that can track workload and actually measure that torque as well over time. If you don't have that information to begin with, there's nothing you can do to intervene and to improve on that. So uh, information is key.